Police say Juan Carlos Cruz tried to hire homeless men to kill his wife. He was in court yesterday where bail was set at $2 million. But the case isn't as cut as dry as it may sound. David Wright has more. The former celebrity chef was led into the courtroom in handcuffs, charged with attempting the willful, deliberate, and premeditated murder of his wife. Yes, I don't my bill. Guilty, please. The Santa Monica police clearly see this as an open and shut case. It was a murder for hire. Today on Calorie Commando. Police and prosecutors accuse the Food Network's Calorie Commando of trying to hire a homeless hitman. This guy comes up to me and was like, I have a job. I was like, what kind of job? It's like, dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Their chief witnesses, these homeless men, who told the TMZ website Juan Carlos Cruz gave them a box cutter, gloves, and 10 $100 bills cut in half. He said they'd get the other half when the job was done. What did he say he wanted you guys to do? Uh, to, cut his, to cut this woman's throat. That transaction allegedly took place here on the busy Santa Monica promenade. And the homeless guys, well, they promptly called the cops. But the story that's now emerging appears to be a lot more complicated. Close friends and confidants insist the allegations just don't add up. Juan's a nice, gentle person. One of the last people on earth I'd think that would do something like this. My wife says that I'm downright cranky if I don't get my exercise in. As best they can tell, the loving relationship featured on those TV shows was no act. You're faster, sleeker, stronger. But sources say the couple apparently struggled for decades with fertility problems. Sources tell ABC News that Cruz's wife, attorney Jennifer Campbell, was despondent over their failure to conceive children. And they suggest she may have wanted to end her life, but that as a devout Roman Catholic, she believed suicide was a sin. The possible motive? That Cruz may have been acting out of mercy, trying to help end his wife's suffering. But even if that's true, it's not exactly a defense. It's all the time I have. Thanks for watching. If convicted of attempted murder, Cruz could still face life in prison. For Good Morning America, David Wright, ABC News, Santa Monica. And the bizarre possible motive puts the case in a new light, to say the least. Joining us now to talk about that is prominent criminal defense attorney Roy Black, who joins us from Miami. And juries have heard some pretty unusual defenses. You know, we think of the, the, the Twinkie defense, the junk food made uh, someone commit murder. And then last year, the gentleman who said he was too overweight to have committed crime. But this one here, Roy, that he possibly hired a hitman because his wife wanted to die because she couldn't have children. Now, that's pretty out there. It, it's pretty out there, but it's not a legal defense. The law doesn't allow you to say the person wanted to die, so you killed them to assist them on the way. Otherwise, the landscape would be full of dead spouses. But a mercy killing by using a box cutter? Uh, that's even the manner in which in, in, in saying that he would possibly want to do that is is bizarre. Well, the whole thing is bizarre. Wandering the streets, hiring homeless men as hit men, giving them this assassination kit. I mean, it's all bizarre. You know, it's like John Hinckley killing the president to date Jodie Foster. No, you're, you're, on, you're on fire this morning, Roy, with these. <laughs> with these. <laughs> but um, if if his wife comes forward and backs him up, and says, yes, he, he was doing this for me. Um, you know, does, w w would, that, would that have any factor in this? Well, it'll have a factor. It doesn't give him a defense, but certainly it's going to mitigate punishment. The prosecutor, I'm sure, would offer him some type of a plea bargain. There'd be a lesser sentence. I mean, it's entirely different than you're trying to kill your wife to collect life insurance. Right, so there's real no defense. So we're, we're trying to think of a motive because we, we heard in, in the report and we've heard from other people that uh, seem to be a loving relationship. They've been high school sweethearts, been together for 30 years. So does the prosecution have to provide a motive? No, the prosecution doesn't have to prove a motive, but everybody looks for it because motive is important. We don't do something like this unless we have something to gain or there's some reason. So the whole thing is, is just very bizarre. All right, Roy, bottom line, if you were this guy's attorney, you know, he could possibly f be facing life in prison. Um, how would you handle this case? Well, what you'd want to do is to put together some type of an insanity or temporary insanity defense and not to go to trial, but to try to convince the prosecution to let you plead to a lesser offense and mitigate the punishment. I mean, that's the best you can do with this case. It seems to be. Roy Black, thank you as always for your, your insight thank and you, perspective. Robin. Thanks so much. Have a good day there in Miami.